Hello everyone and welcome back to a beautiful day of survival, well night of survival we're actually on. Uh, we've got a few different things to build, we've been progressing with ships and Scott's been taking the ships away one by one by destroying them. <laughs> great, great job. I blame Clang, I blame Clang. Uh, if Scott gives a little bit of a spin, we're using some of Sectown's beautiful suits. He's going to give us a spin, Scott, was that a spin? Ow. That's not a spin, you don't even move it, you just stay static on my screen. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you've got you what you're running the worker or the adventure suit. Uh, adventurer. So the adventure suit, what does it gives you a bit more hydrogen? I think more hydrogen, more oxygen. Okay, very nice. You got a back. It's got also a, go a, a, a bar on it, so you can see your whole, how much oxygen you've got. Oh, that's really, health. That's, that's probably a very smart idea, especially with me being very healthy. Let's let, let, let to the med bay and have a quick look at the other suit that that has got the worker suit. No, I just ran over a scout body. Yeah. <laughs> you had a lot of uranium on you, scout. Right, so the other one's I'll the worker take that body. Off you. I like the worker yeah. body because of the mask. The mask looks really cool. Yeah, the mask is pretty damn nifty. It, like when you lift, yeah. if you press J, does it lift it up? Oh, it does as well. You're gonna die. Oh wow, very lovely. I know it was worth the risk of, of just enjoying it. But when you're out, you're out. I need, I need ammo for the stupid gun. Stage, put the Zack Nakata down. Put that down. There, I dropped it. Oh, look how beautiful it looks, though. So, right, let's head down. Let's head to the North Pole. I, um, what's everyone working on today? Uh, well, I was going to finish my cargo hauler at some point and start thinking about our... Oh, that was my corpse. Uh, north, uh, getting us back into space with a uh, Apollo-style rocket. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to work All on hydrogen. The, um, the drilling ship to get the hydrogen that you need to get into space. And fingers crossed if everything gonna... goes well. Go on, Sage. No, no, I interrupted you. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. I said if everything goes well, we'll be in space. And that's pretty much it. But go on, Sage. Oh, I'm... I was going to make a mining ship down here as well. That way we can still gather uranium and stuff down here. Very good. Very nice. So we should have enough mining ships and enough resources to blast finally back up into space and Aye. continue the adventure up there. Even maybe visit another planet would probably be a nice idea. But that's a long way off. Thank you, Scott. Oh, it didn't work. I, uh, I might have pushed it at the same time. <laughs> Scott was taking too long. Right. So where is this leading to? I hope it leads to the right place. What? What? It just led me back to the same spot. Uh, Let me back go to anywhere. Yeah, I went back to the same spot. Have you wired this oh, up correctly? Oh. Great. <laughs> <laughs> really? This? Oh my god! Already. <laughs> oh, oh. Right. So, so this we fucked basically. We didn't have well, to once we that. get someone there, we can. I want to see if it's just because it's not uh, spawned. What? So, what the other? The, oh, because we think the other portal is not actually in existence. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna cast some magic spells to get myself there real quick. Oh, just cast that. Yeah, cast that magical um, spell. Yes, yeah, mine, yeah, mine. Right. So it may. So so. Did you try rewiring something or or anything? No, nothing's been rejigged. Right. I'm entering the portal, hoping to go to the North Pole. I have not made it to the North Pole, but ended up inside the Zeppelin in a block that is not actually possible to get into. Screw me. No, the game is doing that to you, Aaron. The game is doing that to you. Okay, well, this mod's broken right now, then. Right. You know what is a good question yeah. for you that I've seen, right? Has any of you guys seen that new movie that's come out called Hardcore? Oh, yeah, I've heard I about have it. not seen it. I've not, not, not seen it. You've not seen it, no. It's, uh, yeah, it looks really good, doesn't it? What, a whole movie shot in first person. Wow. Oh, yeah. that, interesting. That sounds like it would give me motion sickness after a while, but... I don't know. I, it looks really good. I can imagine it in 3D being pretty solid as well, to be honest. We'll just have to see how well how good it is. I'm gonna watch it. I think probably later this week or next week because it is out. I think it's out. is it out now. I'm I'm not 100. percent It's on big it, screens now. I yeah. believe. It just to me sounds like it's gonna end with me going. Rrr, rrr. Oh no, it, it looks good. I think I think it's made by some Russians because I've seen like one of their um, you know pre films they've done before. They actually came up with that. They got I think they got it backed on Kickstarter or something, didn't they? I don't know. It's got, yeah, it's I got, think so. It's got a really either, interesting story behind it though. It was either Kickstarter or Indiegogo. One of those, I believe that is indeed what it started out. I don't know if that's the future for building movies, though, but it's a good idea. No, I don't think so. It's just some of them. Um, uh, I have so sported cool. one Indiegogo, and that was the Rooster Teeth movie. Rooster. Uh, uh, Laser Team. It was the movie <laughs> yeah, they made. Team. They actually uh, did a little promo thing with uh, for uh, Hardcore Henry or whatever it's called. Oh, did they? Did you uh, did you ever see that? Right. You know um, what for that division thing? Where they got some YouTubers together and took them to a factory somewhere, and they made them do like a cheesy sort of test thing. Oh um, uh, no. no, no, no! That was an interesting. They got um, they got an XAS, SAS guy. Uh, his name always escapes me. 
But um, no, he's normally pretty good. But this this time, it was just it was like the most confusing, strange thing ever. But it, it, I guess he was had an interesting idea to it. Was it just basically an SAS guy shouting it was, at yeah, YouTubers? It, yeah, it was an SAS guy shouting at a lot of YouTubers. I mean, that that was the basic concept of it. Let's get them interior plates in there. I can't, I can't see that ending well. I could just see that being like... Oh, you know, I'd quite enjoy it to be honest. I, I wouldn't mind getting shouted at by an ex Yeah, guy. but you like uh, all that shit. Oh, yeah, it's fair enough. Um, most, most YouTubers I know are middle aged and flabby. Mm. Well, you know, if you ever if, if, if that comes out as an offer, like, get, no, I don't actually know. No, that sounds like a really strange, strange thing. Please shout at me, Mr. SAS man. <laughs> Oh, he's called Chris. Is he called Chris Ryan? That's him, I think. Oh, this way. Okay, hopefully we'll find a good amount of silicone. Is it in the uranium tunnel hole? No. No, uh, we. It has its own hole. Okay. Has it been labelled? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I could have just given you the cords, but I figure I'll leave this ship with you. That way, if you need a defensive structure, it'll keep you safe. Oh, that's, a, that's very caring of you, say. Thank you. All right. Maybe it's not. Uh, I might have forgot. That ammo? Might be ammo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit. Well, if nothing else, though, you can mine down and store the silicon in this and also use it to get your uh, hydrogen back. Very good point. Uh, oxygen, that one. Shit, did I forget a vent on it? God damn it, I'm a mess today. Forgot the vent. Anyway, it should be up below this. Oh, I see. If you need to yeah. scan for it, uh, this ship does have the stuff. But yeah. 24 meters down. Is the uh, pre existing hole? No, I don't believe so. We no, just found it. We just went a little mining. There's uh, uranium near here too, so there's tons of stuff. Uh, I'm putting the ship kind of close to the ground, so hopefully maybe you can jump into it if things go terribly oh, bad okay. and get back. Well, I just hope loads of spiders don't pile on top of me, really. But yeah, no, Usually no. It seems like you're pretty safe once you get under the ground. Yeah, I was doing some experiments. They don't spot. They don't chase you underground. They just want to stay on the surface. Oh, that's interesting. You they can't expect a spider to crawl in after you, wouldn't you? The they, diggy spiders especially, yeah. They can fall in the hole. Well, the next minute, spiders surround you. Next minute, it's a spider. That's you... why I'm glad they don't, because, again, I'm getting enough of that kind of jump scares at Subnautica when I go around the corner and there's something there trying to eat me. Do you have any guys have any ideas for any more animals? Or anything you I just thought would be really cool? I want, I want flying bats. Oh, how would they I work, don't necessarily though? have an idea for a specific animal, but I would like to see some more... um peaceful stuff oh yeah, yeah it's like ambient animals like... yeah like alien deer and things like that oh that's a nice idea as well as indeed something more lethal flying on the alien worlds and maybe sandworms i've mentioned that actually oh, my I want sandworms. Sandworms on mars. oh my god that'd yeah be i want so them good. in mars but then mars then just becomes arrakis but like oh, what <laughs> sand, what like sandworms from what's it called uh Good. Doom. Doom, or the ones from, uh, what's it called, Holes or something? Tremors. Tremors, tremors? yeah. I like the Tremors uh, ones. Come either on. or. <laughs> well, the Tremors ones are smaller. Tremor ones can be the babies, how about that? Yeah, because oh, yeah. the ones on Doom are, uh, like, they would swallow the weasel in one gulp without even noticing it. Mm-hmm. They were good books. The Tremors one, I like the idea of the Tremors one, you know how they mutated? Like, they kept changing into different things. Uh, honestly, I I like, I was kind of alright with the first one, but they ended up going too far with the flying ones, and it's like, okay, this has just gone off the rails now. And the, yeah, the idea of they farted to, to, get, to gain speed, I thought that was quite funny. Yeah, I think they, they kind of just went a bit... We need to keep this It was a comedy though, wasn't it? it? Wasn't it a com it was a comedy, right? Uh, it had the, a bounce of comedy. The original was not a comedy. The first one was actually like a proper like 80s horror, and then it just devolved yeah. into a, horror, a comedy. I do like it. I, I think they did a good job. I quite like that. I like the first one, like you said. Uh, they did three, didn't they? If I'm right. I, I think they've done like think. five. Four? Really? Oh. Because the first one was just the trimmers thing around. The second one was there where they sprouted and they had the little runners were heat sensitive. The third one they had the flyers, and then the fourth one... Uh, I think it was set back in like the Western era, and it was well, mainly one when they went to Africa the underground ones. I have no recollection of an African one. I thought they went to Africa to hunt, hunt uh, like a super big one, like a big mother one or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just I'm not a tr super tremors man. Oh, it's quite stiff on turning the ship, isn't building. it? Hmm. Quite stiff on turning the ship. No, oh, yeah, it's not exactly supposed to be a super maneuverable thing. It looks like it's been built like for a purpose. I think it looks like it's been built to defend, or maybe a mine Yeah, it's support. It's 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 a it's yeah. That's what exactly its purpose. It's supposed to go find a mining area and then defend it. But I, I, we can't build the ammo, or we didn't at least. 
Well, I've got magnesium marks. We can go get more magnesium. Right, I'm bringing it in. I like the little pillar you built for your your monolithic monolith thing. Zeppelin. Yeah, Scott built the little pillar. It's nice. Has that, that it, it, it got red lights that go up it? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. I didn't even that, notice you'd done that. That was me making amends for breaking Sage's shit. Oh, you cutie. <laughs> I was like, I think I'll do something productive for now. <laughs> so I'll go make a pillar. Alright, let's land this thing on that connector and suck some silicone in. So, you, you can't fake up making a pillar. No, you'd be surprised. I'm sure, and... I'm sure there's enough stories from people out there that have wrecked whole bases by cutting a pillar maybe at the base and it's fallen and collapsed and everything. Well, that's why I put four legs to it, so that it's... Always know, quite secure. Yeah, there's less chance of cutting a leg off or, uh, you know, something going terribly wrong, so it's... I want to say I've idiot-proofed it, you know. Do you want me to turn the power off on this, is that... Or not, Sage? Uh, don't do it while you're connected just be a connector. Okay. That. Oh, because it'll cut off the power to everything. And... Okay, yeah, I'll get Correct. it. I use Scott as my test subject, like, for 99.9% .9 of everything. Like, if if, if he, Scott is killed by it, you know that it'll kill most people. Really? No. If it kills Scott, I mean, it's probably what? still safe around 99% yeah, 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 of yeah, other okay, people. Okay, okay, fair enough point, fair enough point. That's why I've never used a gun. Computer. Is the, do I have to make some computers? <laughs> I think a gun's the exception to that rule, Scott. Yeah, but I mean, if a gun... It's like, oh, this device is designed to kill people. Oh, Scott killed killed somebody with it. Ooh, a or drone. got killed by one. Oh, that I know, happened to everyone else. It was just Scott. You're probably I think a gun's safe. the one time where, you know, it could be valid. Ooh, you're, probably like safer standing in front. you're probably safer standing in front of me than behind me. Well, that might be true, actually. I'm going to build ten parachute cartridges. Is everyone okay with that? No Are objection you... here. Okay, good. Have you got a parachute, Nathan? No. I thought it might be very useful for when that you moment and you go, Aaron, Aaron, I need a parachute. And then I'm like, we're not going it. And then, and then I'd be like, oh, yeah, I've got some because I made some that time when I said I was going to make some. I might put one on the uh, I ornament. think, just, just let, let me just say a new rule. Parachutes should be on every ship we build. Has everyone agreed with that? In yeah, case, I think um, it seems case, like a bit of a faff. No, I'm just, it's, you just plug it in. And if there's a serious problem, you can hit your parachute and you can save your ship. It's that simple. A serious problem, like someone accidentally hitting Y and powering down a ship. Yes, or you come back to your ship and someone stole all your uranium or something down the lines of that. But that's just an idea for you. I'm, I'm quite excited to see this nano thing actually in action. Yeah, take, Do you want some help, of... help building it? Or... Uh, I'm alright, I'm just waiting for resources to... Okay. So is this your concept for the mining ship, for the mining around yep. here? Yep. Very mm -hmm. oh, simple but effective, very nice. Just to... Aye. Uh, you, I just need is this something sales. you reckon you're gonna be able to leave just to dig down, or are you gonna have to be in control of it? No, I have to be in control of it. Okay, that is pretty but cool. How do we send it out? It should go on its own. Yeah, there, it's doing things. Look, the pieces. I'm I'm trying to work out where it's going. Over here. Okay. Uh, they're, they're over my pad for some reason. What has my pad done to you, the handheld machine? What are you repairing? You, because you can follow the. Oh god, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Hydrogen! Hydrogen! Liking this platform now, though. Like that looks like one of those glass things you stick your hand against, and all your hair sticks up on end. I'd let you know what would be cool though, if the display display. I mean, I'm I'm always just like the next level van, but like if the display displayed what you it was constructing or it just said you know like in a little block saying uh, yeah. working on small ship 102 or working on. Dave's ship. I'd like. I've seen. Uh, I'm a very amused YouTuber. by it though. I could be watching this for a few minutes. Yeah, I know. I've seen another YouTuber make basically a space dock with these in it, and it built the ship, and it was like. Can, I can love the color be changed? But the color represents different things. What do you mean different things? Okay, I'm going to alt tab. I'm going to the mod, and I'll get the description. Well, give us, give us like, uh, like uh, how to use it. Is it like a a, br a manual? I don't. Well, I don't... in theory, this will now once this place gets repaired, it'll yeah, never but... have to touch anything here again. I, but there's so okay. much to repair, though, isn't there? Blue. That is Nine true. Nanofashion yes. controllers are repairing. Okay, blue is repairing blocks. Okay, what's black? Because it sets a black right. currently. Pink nine converted the project into blocks and can be constructed. Pink is project, yellow is clean up. What's clean up do? Uh, 
And it's grabbing anything lying around rubbish on ground, like straps and all that, or bits of, if you drop some steel plates on the ground, it'll... Oh, wow, that's... Oh, oh that's, what colour is that again? Yellow! Okay, let's put it on cleanup mode and see what it does. Well, no, I don't you, think you said it's mode. You, it, it does it. No, it's not like you colour it. That oh, it's oh, really? In, oh, can I have an idea? The that come out of it are what... <laughs> oh, sorry. I, you, no, but when I said, can I colour it, before, Scott said, yeah, you can, but it affects the... The thing. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thanks, thanks, bad. Scott. I got super okay, excited come, then. One, these two I, I like. Coming soon. Deconstruction. So you can set the nanites to deconstruct something. Okay. I hope that's an option. Just, 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 just <laughs> your ship just melts up. Fuck. Uh, and mining. Mining sounds cool. Oh, mining does sound cool, but I, don't, I will have to see how it does that. What's it working? Well, can you tell, Sage? Well, what was Me? blue again? No, I can't tell what's working on. Blue was it's doing something constructing inside. and repairing, so it's repairing something over this direction. Well, I've been all, I've been awfully quiet because I've been pressing the wrong button. Number one, and number two, I've also been building this massive mining machine as a double of sages, just so we can have two mining machines for mass mining. How long? One, one north, how one long south. Have you been how I've, long have you been talking to yourself? I've been probably talking to myself for the last half an hour or so, talking about this incredible creation, asking you guys to come over, and then when you ignore me, going, oh well, they must just not be able to hear me, and then <laughs> realising, oh, I've pressed the wrong button, and then going, I'm not going to repeat myself again, but yeah, here's a look. It's just like exactly the same as stages over there, really. I just wanted to do one for the North Pole, so we have one here and one for the North Pole. And then All right, fair enough. So, fingers crossed, we'll have one, so we, yeah, just a bit of a combo. I keep, on her, wombo. I keep on finding her in the ship trying to find the to see what the nanites are doing. Mm, They're yeah. up on the bridge area. Things. I've got, yeah, I've got full inventory stage, I'll do it. So it looks still placed on the ground. And yellow dots should appear in a second. Here they come, here they come. Oh, yeah. they come. Are they picking them up? I don't no, see them just... carrying them off though. Give them a second. They, don't, they just disassemble them. Oh, they don't carry them off. Oh, I was. No, I thought... they, they do. They're, they're like nannies. They... They're not worker ants. I thought you I don't was... see them fly back. But no, they sort of I, oh, I was expecting them to pick them up, put them on the back, and like crawl back up into the thing. Damn it! <laughs> oh, that would have been fun. But the colour's coming from that thing, and now it's. Can you overload it and blow it up? Because it's looking a little overloaded at the moment. No, let's not. Not that I know. Of. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's not overload anything. If we Woo! Can. Ow. It's too fun to run through it. I can help. Oh, we can, can we just call them Marmite now? Because no, because they're no. not Marmites, they're Nanites. Marmite, they're Marmites now. Oh, Shiza! I can't I'm even, I can't, I'm, I'm struggling to just drag something. Marmites, help me. They're not Marmites, they're Nanites. You know, nanites, like, is there any way I can, like, persuade the Nanites to help me? Like, if I, like, give, like... <laughs> no, I don't like, think so. I go over to it. Can I give them some like, candy? Hmm. Hey, see, I, I took these steel plates. Sage and Scott don't know. Just yeah, take these. I'll give you some of these. Yes. Um, I'll give you. I, I can give you some empty hydrogen bottles. Yeah, you want them? You want them? I don't think there's a way to bribe the you NMH yet. Yeah, yeah, you want them. Yeah, you do want them hydrogen bottles. You take them, and we're gonna we're gonna trade. You're gonna do a little bit of work on my ship over there. You're gonna take these hydrogen bottles. You're gonna put them back in, and you're gonna do that. Mm, there you go. There's one. Well, if you maybe There's concentrate two. getting this, the second nanite assembler, we could... I'm, hey, I'm talking here with Sam, the nanite assembler. Okay. Or right. if you want to go round the ship and fix everything you can see, it would... Nathan, the nanite nanny. Ooh. Mm. I like that. What's, what's, he, what's he giggling about? Well, I'm just worried some of your thrusters might burn through some of your other stuff, like this one right here. Well, you, be a you're worried about experience. that? That's, I thought they only thrust one block. Oh, maybe they do. I don't know. I thought they thrusted more, so... Okay. okay. Well, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yours I'm looks sure. pretty nice. Yours look pretty nice. Mm, yours looks better. No, yours looks better. Don't be doing that to me. Mm. Oh, very nice. Oh, I like your extent. Oh. 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 Alright. Oh, I can, I can see that on the side of a fighter. You're right below the cockpit. Oh, yeah. So, so uh... What's going on? Oh, we got we're, ladders over we're here. La quick, ladder him, ladder him, ladder him. Oh. Sage, can Damn. you add one of your own sound effects to as it goes up and down, please? All right. It is very nice. Oh, I am. Yes, Sage, lovely. 
a ve- very nice update to that that mod pack. Yeah, I was thinking that was that was running through my head. I'd like a good extendable one. And now for the moment of truth over here. I'm going to see if the ship floats. Oh, let's see this. This is so much action happening at once. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's it no work. is. Congratulations. Um, I don't. I, can I just do a quick test with your ship, sir? Oh, oh my God, that gyroscope is way I, too powerful. Can I, can, am I allowed to do a test? Oh, what do you want? To I just do? want to stick a block on and see if it melts it. My oh yeah, sure. My Hit question is, how do you unload the ore? Hold on, let me just um. Right, okay. I'm just gonna st I'm gonna stick the block on, and this will just test if if it will work. I'll have to raise it up one. Edge, so. how do you unload the ore? Oh, I'll get to that when I come back. So that's that block, if you would care to thrust. Looks like you're safe. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for that. Now I should know mine is safe. Bye, Bugs. Thank you. Thank you, Gatlinly, for doing your job. Yes, thank you very much, Gatlinly. And he did one for Girls Want to Come on, come on. Give us a and Girls Want to Have Fun for an outro. No. Girls, just come and join with me. Girls, just want to have fun. Bye. Uh -huh.